Next up, we're going to hear from Michael Tatanesi, who is both a certified association executive and a certified pricing professional. I think a lot of people are having trouble with knowing how to price virtual events. You know, we're in a new sphere. Um, things are a little bit different. Um, and Michael's going to give us a really practical framework on how to price virtual events, both for sponsors and attendees. And I think we can all really benefit from hearing what he has to say. Hey, guys, it is Dr. Michael Tatsunetti. Um, So one thing that I love that Edward said about the desire for FaceTime and networking and sponsors preferring to speak. You know, sponsors and attendees both feel the same way. Um, they want to know what's in it for them. They want to connect in their real time. Think about it. When someone registers, they're ready to access things right away. Uh, they're not trying to wait just for the event. And some people come and go even throughout a live event. So it's important that you understand the value of connection and what pre-recorded video can do for that. Um, that's going to dictate the experience that they have, the value that they, that they perceive, and therefore the price that you can charge for financial sustainability and continuing your organization's mission, especially during a critical time like 2020. So speaking of pricing, what I've noticed most organizations are doing is they are defensively pricing. They are simply reacting to what they see everyone else doing, which is resulting in a lot of reduced fee or free events. And they're also afraid to capture the same price and therefore value uh, for their sponsor prospectus and what they're, what they're working with um, as far as their sponsor packages go. Um, I think that that's a huge mistake, personally. Uh, I know that at Professional Pricing Society, we have done a really good job of delivering value, especially with pre-recorded video. And so what that's looked like for us is we recognize that when our attendees register, they would love to start consuming some content right away. We also pegged that in with them logging into the system and making sure that everything works. So what we do is when they sign up, uh, we don't do it more than two weeks before the event, but by two weeks prior, we have preloaded some video content that was already recorded by sponsors, and it includes products and software demos. It includes some talks on thought leadership around the topic of what we do, and we have that sitting there for them to go through and binge watch like Netflix. One of the nice things is that they're not opting in. They're not speaking to anybody live like what Edward spoke about in the expo hall, they can just come and go and watch each thing. But then there are clear call to actions at the end to book that next call or uh, get questions answered. You know, who should you be speaking with if you're interested in next steps? That also allows us to track digital analytics to share with our sponsors to show how many people viewed their content and how long do they watch it for? At what point do they drop off and lose interest? That's all very valuable information for our sponsors. So you're going to get what you pay for. Um, I would highly recommend using some pre-recorded video to allow sponsors to engage with attendees. Also, I loved the idea here at Engage of allowing attendees to record welcome videos and share who they are so that they can connect with the other attendees since we can't do that around happy hour or coffee breaks like we normally would. So I think pre-recorded video absolutely gives some great value. There's ways to monetize that. I think that by utilizing it, you can absolutely keep your sponsor packages at the same or a higher price point than what you normally would. And I think with your attendees, my philosophy is always, if you're going to discount, discount for your attendees, not to free, not to really cheap, um, because perceived value will go down, but to something that's reasonable as a give according to your mission, but still keep the value in the experience there. Think about it. If every major um, car dealer or every major phone manufacturer suddenly dropped the price of all of the new models in the same year, we would perceive that the value has gone down, not that they're giving us a break. So consider that when pricing your events, your sponsorship packages, um, utilize that pre-recorded video, allow for connection, allow for collaboration. That's going to keep the value there so that you can have financial sustainability. I want to thank you guys for allowing me to share real quick today. And if you have any other questions, do feel free to reach out on LinkedIn, uh, Dr. Michael Tatsunetti.